Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. So I'm taking my first Spanish class now, and I know enough words to make a whole sentence. But I don't know enough to not be really creepy. You see, we always have to have these conversations in class in Spanish, but all of mine just end up sounding like, Hello, my name is Nick. I am medium height, and I have brown hair. I like bicycles. I like you. And for the midterm exam, my job was to talk about the buses in Barcelona for five minutes in Spanish. Which, by the way, I couldn't even do in English. So now, if I go to Mexico, I couldn't ask what's for dinner, I couldn't tell you that there's a fire in the building, but I can talk about buses. <laughs> and I can talk to women. Hey, see that bus over there? It's blue. <laughs> the one behind it is red. <laughs> I am not a bus. <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about something for a second. You see, sometimes it's really hard for me to write these jokes because I don't quite have the range that other people have. Like, for example, I can't do rape jokes. Not that I have anything against rape. It's just, I am way too rapey looking for anyone to think that I'm joking. I could say anything, and that guy would be like, we need to get out of here. This is, this man's opinion. I guess, I guess I just wasn't born with the not rapey genes that other guys have. Like, for example, other guys, they can just choose to not shave. That's something that they can do. I can't do that. I just look creepier and creepier. I go from, like, hobo to rapist hobo to Dumbledore. <laughs> It just gets worse and worse, and I can't help it. I was born this way. I came out and the doctor was like, whoa, that is one rapey baby. <laughs> Thank you all. Have a great night.